Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm Susan. We're going to look at some lovely stitches today that will make a little cowl. It is done with the Solomon stitch and basically you're just doing single crochets in the US, double crochets in the UK and what is like um, an elongated chain stitch and then into the back of the chain stitch you're just doing a single crochet and what I've done is join it together and put a little twist in it and it just provides a little decorative cowl to go round your neck and wear over perhaps a plain um, piece of clothing might look best but I've also done one in a mustard colour which I'll show you at the end of the video on how we sew it together. This is a really easy pattern. Beginners can do this. I've chosen to make it quite narrow because it is quite stretchy, but when it's on, it's just a perfect size. But um, if you look, there's about one, two, three, four, five, five flowers or knots, whichever you wish to call them. It's also known as the lover's knot. So um, you need to start with a magic circle and into the magic circle we need to do a single crochet. I'm going to use US terminology today. So I make the magic circle just by making a little E over my finger and then from the back I go there and then yarn over and pull through and pinch and then just do chain and then into that magic circle I do a single crochet and that is the beginning of our if I just zoom in slightly that might help so that's the start of the first row of the um, Solomon's knots so we need to do a total of 12 elongated chains and single crochets. So you just pull up your yarn like so. It's just like you're making an ordinary chain. Like that, but just hold on to it with your finger and thumb. And then into the back of the chain, just there, do a single crochet and there you've made your first little knot now all you need to do is it's as if you're making a chain like this but you're just pulling up your yarn and then doing a little chain there and if you forget and let go, don't worry, just look, there's your little V at the front of your chain. Turn it over, that's the back where the bump is. And you just go underneath the bump at the back. And then yarn over, pull through, and again, a little single crochet. And that's all there is to it. So we need to make a total of 12 of these. So elongate, yarn over, Pull through into the back, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through for a single crochet. And again, elongate and then yarn over and pull through. Pinch the three strands because you've got your little V stitch there, which is your chain, and the back of the chain here. And into the back there you do another single crochet. I think it's a very clever stitch this one and it's so decorative you can use it for almost anything. Um, I've made little candle cozies from it, I've made a ring, wedding ring pillow from it in cotton crochet thread. You can make shawls, lots of different things. Okay so we've done one one, two, three, 
for. Try and be consistent when you elongate the yarn. That's the key to having even stitches really. Um, not too long, I'd say, well I'm just looking at what that might be. I have a little ruler just here. So that's about, just about a half inch or not quite a couple of centimetres. I wouldn't go any taller than that. And if it's any shorter, you won't get the effect. So then yarn over, pull through, and then do a single crochet. Elongate, yarn over. If you yarn over really, you could just grab that and then pull through and then go underneath. I know I pinch with my um, index finger and thumb, but it would work just as well if you pinched with this and yeah. There we go. So now you do another elongated stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then into the back, yarn over and pull through for your single crochet. We'll just do a quick count how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Elongate, yarn over, pull through, into the back, yarn over, pull through, and there's your single crochet. Elongate it, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook again, yarn over, pull through. The key is really just making sure you pinch your work so it stabilises it. And there you've got your elongated loop and you do a yarn over, just as if you were doing a chain, pull through, still pinching here and then into the back. Right, so let's have a see now. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Just one more. So elongate the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then into the back loop, yarn over, pull through. Right, so now what we need to do is work back along this row and what we've done is create our first, well enough loops here to create a first Solomon's knot. So the idea is that we're going to be going, there'll be four sides to the knot. So one, two, three, four, so you need to basically close it and make a little diamond shape like so. So you'll have to do a little single crochet in here. So if you look where you are, you've got one, two, three, four to count back. So if we insert our hook and turn, doesn't really matter which way you turn at the moment, but yeah, so one, two, three, four. So if we go now into that knot, into the center, it can be a little bit tricky, but if you look, there are two little loops there. Just insert your hook and there's a little bar just there. Just aim for the center there and wiggle your hook and you'll end up going where you need to be. And then just do your single crochet. And there you will have created your first little knot. Now you just repeat elongating your yarn. Yarn over, 
pull through and then into the back just as we did before yarn over pull through elongate the loop yarn over pull through pinching the yarn into the back yarn over and pull through a single crochet so now you've made two loops so each stitch along the row, you only need two loops and you skip one. So we skip that one and go into the next one, just as we did before, just into the center there. And single crochet. And then elongate the loop. Yarn over, pull through, into the back. Yarn over, pull through. There we go, we need one more, elongate, yarn over, pull through, and then into the back. And that is all there is to this stitch. Skip a stitch, and there, into the next one, a single crochet. Elongate, yarn over, pull through, and then into the back, yarn over, pull through. So that's one loop we've made. Now make another one. And now we need to skip one. One. Well, I mean, we, we actually skip two loops. We just skip one little knot. And into the center of the next one and then a single crochet. Extend the yarn, yarn over, pull through, to the back, a single crochet. And again, extend the loop, yarn over, pull through, and single crochet into the back. And now you're almost at the last little knot there, so you skip two and just do a single crochet here and what I do is I then do three we're at the end so you need to do three it, it doesn't really matter whether you do the three loops first or you turn first it's personal preference how you might may like the finish but I find if I do it this way make three loops And single crochets. You must do three at the, the edges. And then I find if I turn this way, opposite to the way you turn the page of a book, I guess, and then it seems to lie quite nicely. And then you're going to go into the next little knot here. And do a single crochet and you extend your loop single crochet into the back and now because we're on the row we do two loops and a single crochet now now you skip one and into the next one you do a single crochet Extend your loop, single crochet into the back, extend, yarn over, pull through, single crochet into the back of the extended chain. And now you've done two loops and you skip one and go into the next. What would be a single crochet part of the knot? Okay, now you do another two loops, trying to keep them as even as you can. Just have a little practice to start, but if you're familiar with this, sorry if it's a little bit slow, there we go.
extend, pull through, extend, there we go, we've done two. And now we're almost at the end, so we skip one and into this one. And that will be sort of like a corner peak because we're not having a formal edging on this or a formal um, row at the beginning or single crochets or anything. And the reason is we're going to join it later. Okay, so now we're at the edge again. We're going to do three loops, but as you can see, it's starting to take shape with the little knots. So just once more, extend. Insert your hook do a single crochet. So you're making three loops because we're at the edge. And then let's turn like this. And this is all you do all the way through. Nothing any different whatsoever. Each side is the same procedure and you just continue to work all your way up to the length of the um, project you need, you're making. So that's basically it for the um, stitches and however many rows you'd like to do. The best thing is, because we're all different shapes and sizes, it's a good idea to just pop it round your neck and check if that's the length that feels comfortable for you. Because it's if you're going to use it as a scarf or as a cowl, um, you'll know where you want it to lay. So what we can do now is have a little look at... Um, one I, I made just this morning it was, and I've pinned it out to show you how it how it will look and then I lump in it so we can sew it together so here we are this is where we started and we did our 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 loops and then we did our single crochet into there then we did two loops skipped one and did a single crochet in there and continued to do that along there two loops single crochet two loops a single crochet two loops and a single crochet and then when we got to this end we did three loops one two three and then came back on ourselves and did a single crochet here so that was the one we were working from, up and did three. So it was the next one along. And then we did two loops and a single crochet, having skipped one into there. Two loops, skipped one and went into there. So I thought that might be helpful for you to see. And you might think because we have a little um, point at this end, we should have one at this end, but it doesn't work like that. They they do this on alternate rows. So here on this row, that is the pointy end. I'm sure there's a more technical word, but not to worry. And then there it is. It's not there and then not there, but it's there. Okay, so the idea is now to sew this together, you can either put a twist in or, I'll just zoom out for a sec, put a twist in it or not um but what we need to do now is to join the little points here so where we've got our little solomon's knot peaks we're going to just join them correspondingly so there will be five joints to make so what i'll do is i'll just unpick this and be back with you in a few secs okay so here's the little cowl you literally just twist it once over like so. And now you're going to just 
make sure that you join the, the sides together. And in order to do that, you just take your yarn and don't worry about fastening off or if you get an extra loop here. That doesn't matter at all. Just pull through very gently. There we go. You'll not see this when it's made up. I'll just come in slightly. Right, so we need to now make sure we've still got our twist. That's lovely. So we need to be on the corresponding little peak which is here and we just join these two knots just straight through the center just bring them together and secure them and you do this with each one that's perfect that's absolutely fine and now we need to go down to the next knot it doesn't matter which length of the scarf you do this on. Just very gently and then up to the next knot. You could finish off so you don't get the three loops, but honestly you will not see it. And then we've got the corresponding bit here. So we're just going to do a couple of stitches in there. Try not to pull that tight and then secure that. Once you've done the first one, you can give it a little tighten up like so. There we are. Perhaps do two stitches. Just getting, I think, a little knot in there somewhere. Where are we? There we go. I always find it really difficult sewing on camera. Right, so again, just go down to the next knot. Gently through. I'll secure it one more time here. This yarn's not best to sew with and then this the corresponding I got this right. right let's have a little look there we go we've got the loop there and now we need to make sure we match up this loop here that's it yes oh one more Don't know what's going on. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to change my yarn needle. Let me just check. There we go. Now we're fine now. And then this one. So there are only five little joins to do. If you take your time and just enjoy, hey, Miss, it is fun and therapeutic, even if you're getting a knot. <laughs> there we go. Right. Right. And now, I think I'll come back this way this time. They do say that you shouldn't have the yarn when you're sewing longer than from your hand to your elbow. And that means you won't get a knot. And I always cut, leave too much. Right. And then up to this one. Right. Make sure it's not pulling. Just secure it there. This saves you finishing off each time. And then find the little peak here. 
you're skipping one and then to that one. And just do a little stitch. I'm sorry the lighting might not be too good today, but hopefully it won't be too bad. There we go now. Let's As you can see, you really can't tell. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and that it is something that you'll enjoy doing. It is, as you've seen, perhaps it's quite quick as well how it works up. I've used, this is I think an Aran weight but um, double knitting, any, any yarn, just make sure your hook matches. I think I used a hook that was slightly smaller so the knot would be a little tighter. Right, so now you just finish off. And snip yarn. And there you have just zoom out your lovely little cowl I I love this color and I have a friend who looks absolutely lovely in it so if she likes this I would imagine this is where it will end up okay so all done hope you've enjoyed if you're not already subscribed it'd be great if you could and Thanks again for watching. See you next time.